In Module 7, I've learned about the logistic management. I've learned that logistic management is the part of the supply chain process that plans, implements, and controls the efficient effective flow and storage of goods, service, and related information from the point of the origin to the point of consumption to meet customer requirements. To sum up the learnings in this module, logistics is very important to our business. Logistics is the process of planning, implementing, and controlling the efficient effective flow and storage of goods, services, and related information. In this chapter, it also talks about the development of logistics and the component of logistics, which is the natural resources, human resources, financial resources, information resources, competitive advantage, time and place utility, efficient movement to, to customer, and property assets. Mula sa napag-aralan natin kung sa logistics management, aking natutunan na mahalaga ang aspekto ng isang trading system. Dito nababase ang pagkakaroon at kaayusan ng balanse sa pa sa kinabibilangan nitong industriya. Mula sa unang panahon, itinuturing itong pinakamainam na paraan sa pakikipagkalakalan. Maging sa panahon ito, ay epektibo pa rin ang pamamaraan na ito. Ginagamit ito sa pinakamaliit at pinakamalaking organisasyon. The total process of managing how resources are bought stored, and transported to their eventual destination is referred to as logistics. A logistics manager's job are organizing the storage and distribution of commodities. We'll make sure that the right product get to their proper place on time and for a reasonable price. Logistics refer to the process of transporting goods from suppliers to buyers. It entails obtaining things from suppliers and distributors, making them, and then storing them and delivering them to ensure that you are optimizing earnings while offering the greatest possible experience to your customers. You must have a strong knowledge of your logistics processes. If you are a farmer, for example, and your products are oranges that would be delivered or shipped to farmers markets, grocery shops, or even food processing factories, you must keep your oranges free of bugs and pesticides and ensure that they grow into nutritious fruit. The oranges are collected, placed in crates, stored, and finally delivered to your final destination. In this module, I've learned much about the logistics management and also its growth or development. I also learned about the basic terminologies and the explanation of resources, also called as the components of logistics. After that, we had an icebreaker which helped us learn more in Module 7. In Module 8, I've learned about the two kinds of logistic which are inbound and outbound logistic. The term inbound logistic refers to all actions related to placing order with suppliers. Outbound logistics on the other hand refers to actions that entail dealing with or trading in the company's product. Module 8 is all about inbound and outbound logistics. Inbound logistics is all about receiving, storing, and disseminating incoming goods and materials for use. Outbound logistics is all about movement of materials associated with storing, transporting, and distribution of firm's goods to its customers. Bukod sa kabuuan na gagawa ng isang logistic department, Ang inbound at outbound logistics ang dalawang kumikilos at sumisigurado ng maayos na pagpapatakbo ng isang trading system. Sa isang organisasyon, nangangailangan ng organisadong pagkilos at pagdistribute ng mga supply. 
kung kaya't mahalaga ang parte ng inbound at outbound logistics. The network that carries goods or resources to your company is referred to as an inbound logistics. Your inbound logistics network contains everything you need to carry, store, and deliver items from other vendors to your company. What you do determines what items you bring into your firm. If you're a manufacturer, inbound logistics might include raw materials or finished goods if you're in the assembly business. In this module, I have learned about the meaning of logistics, inbound logistics and outbound logistics. I learned that outbound logistics can have benefits such as timely delivery, meeting a customer's demand with perfection, and lastly is the balance between supply and demand. In module 9, I've learned about the warehouse management. In combination with other logistic activities, warehousing plays a vital role in logistic system, providing the appropriate customer service levels. In warehousing, a wide range of operation tasks are carried out. These are material handling, inventory handling, and information transfer. In this chapter, Warehouse management is another important logistic functional area because the demand for products cannot be predicted with certainty and they cannot be supplied immediately. The functions of warehouse management is they provide the desired customer service levels in combination with other logistics activities. Ang isang organisasyon, maliit man o malaki, Ang pagkakaroon ng warehouse management ay isang ay kinakailangan. Ang demand ng isang produkto ay hindi nasisiguro ng seller or producer nito. Kaya't man ang pagkakaroon ng isang functional na warehouse system ay kinakailangan. Ito ang, ito ang namamahala sa store at pinapanatiling maayos ang quality ng, ng isang produkto. Upang mamit ang demand ng mga buyers, ito rin ang tutulong upang magkaroon ng proper monitoring of goods sa isang company. The principles and practices involved in running the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse are referred to as warehouse management, receiving and organizing warehouse space, scheduling personnel, maintaining inventory, and fulfilling orders are all examples of this at a high level. Your warehouse plays a crucial role in our client's purchasing process. Providing good customer service necessitates ensuring that things requested are in stocks and that consumer receive what they ordered. Cross docking has a number of advantages, the most important of which is that it streamlines the supply chain. Warehouse storage and administration expenses are no longer a consideration and goods is transferred swiftly from one stage into the supply chain to the next without the need for a genuine distribution center. Cross-docking can assist minimize transportation expenses. With optimal repeating, fewer kilometers are lost, resulting in lower fuel and vehicle maintenance expenses. Finally, cross-docking reduces fixed asset costs. Cross-docking necessitates a smaller facility. In this module, it is all about the introduction to warehouse management. I learned about the movement and also its definition. It also has primary activities explained during the discussion. Then, I also learned about the daily management functions which are organizing, staffing, planning, directing, and lastly is controlling. module we talk about the purchasing management and we've learned that it is considered to be a very important part of material management because material management is a method for planning organizing and controlling the activities that are happening in the 
company. Aside from that, purchasing management is not just about buying things. We should also consider the price, quality, and the time that we will need those materials, equipment, and supplies. In module 10, I have learned that purchase management is the material management function in a business. The primary function is to obtain inputs for the production function. Purchase management is regarded as critical function of materials management in a business. The purchase management's goal is to procure the right equipment, materials, supplies, and services in the right quantity of the right quality from the right suppliers at the right time and at the best price. The purchase function is said to be extremely important because purchase decisions commit a significant portion of the company's financial resources. While performing their duties, purchases personnel interact with a large number of external agencies. As a result, they present the company's reputation in the outside world because they negotiate and finalize deals worth a lot of money for the company. Their integrity is critical to the organization. In Module 10, I learned that purchasing management manage the needs of the organization and one of the important things for a company to be successful. Purchasing management is considered important function of materials management in the company where it deals with the large inter external agencies while performing their functions and purchase is procurement of goods while purchasing is procurement of materials, supplies, machine, tools, and operation of manufacturing plants. For the introduction of purchasing management, it is considered to be a very important function of materials management, especially in a company. Since purchasing requires a large number, it is important to achieve their goals. They need to procure the right equipment, materials, supplies, and services at the right quality and quantity, from the right suppliers at the right time and at the lowest prices, and also the different types of purchasing. These are the purchases made as per requirement, contract purchasing, market purchase, and scheduled purchasing. By knowing this, it will be a big help when you are buying something. It will make you organized and well planned. Module 10. In a few, purchase management is a component of material management. The primary duty is to obtain inputs for the manufacturing process. In a corporation, purchase management is seen as a critical aspect of materials management. Its significance can be sensed even if it is not part of the formal scope of material management. The purchase function is stated to be extremely important because purchasing decisions commit a significant percentage of a company's financial resources. While performing their duties, purchase personnel interact with a wide number of external agencies. As a result, they offer the company's image to the outside world because they negotiate and close deals worth a lot of money for the company. Their honesty is a crucial to the organizations. Purchasing management is necessary to function the materials in an establishment. It states that purchasing is important to the function of materials in a company. Procurement is the method of buying goods or services for a business and it usually refers to expenditure. Preparation, solicitation, and payment processing are all aspects of business procurement and they typically include multiple departments within an organization. The payment method was as simple as placing an order with the lowest price provider. However, there are types of purchasing, 
such as purchase made as a requirement contract purchasing, market purchase, and schedule purchasing. In this module, we talk about the purchasing procedure. We have six steps to follow in this procedure. First is purchase requisition. This is a document the staff needed to create in order to create a request for purchase of a certain goods and services. The second step is decision of purchase. The head of purchasing department will decide what to acquire first. Third step is study of market conditions. This is where we gather information about latest trends in order to estimate the price and availability of materials. And then after that, we need to choose the right seller for the materials that we need. Place our orders, and after all of that process, we will wait until we receive our orders. And I've learned that in supply chain management, we should follow these procedures in order to have a fast but smooth flow with our system. In Module 11, I have learned that the purchasing is the formal process of buying goods and services. The purchasing process can vary from one organization to another, but there are some common key elements such as purchasing requisition, decision of purchase, study of market conditions, selection of vendors, placing or purchase or order, and receiving of orders. In Module 11, I learned the purchasing procedure, the process, and formal purchase an item. You also need to plan it before doing the process. Purchasing procedures is the process of buying goods and services. The process usually starts with a demand of goods or requirement. It has four parts. Number one is purchasing the requisition where the where the staff needed to create a request of purchase certain goods and services. Number two is the season purchase is where they decide what to acquire first and needed to purchase. Number three is study market condition is where they study the gather information and last about the last trend last trend in order to estimate the price and availability. Then after that, they ask and choose the right seller for the materials that needed to needed in these orders. And also after that, they process and wait until they receive the order. For this module, this is where you decide on what to accept and what to decline. This is also consists of such systems for smooth running such as pre-purchase system, an ordering system, and a post-purchase system. Also, this is where you will evaluate all the available suppliers for the performance, financial stability, and efficiency for identifying two or more preferred suppliers. Module 11, the official process of purchasing products and services is known as purchasing. Although the purchasing process differs from one firm to the next, there are several fundamental factors that are universal. The following are the purchasing procedure to follow. Number one is purchase requisition. All departments of the company are asked to submit a purchase requisition. Number two is purchase decision. Gathering requisitions from multiple departments and delivering them to the purchasing department 
or committee chairman. The buyer decides what to buy and in what quantity. Number three is study of market conditions. A market's condition is defined as the features and state of a market at a given point in time. Number four is selection of vendors. When you choose a possible vendor, you're choosing a business partner who will trust to work with you in a competent and profitable manner. Number five is purchase order. A purchase order is a commercial source document issued by a company's purchasing department when it places an order with one of its vendor or suppliers. And finally, orders received. Receiving is an important aspect of the order management process. When a company wants a proof of shipment, deficit, or quality issue, warehouse without detailed documentation of items received have issues. In purchasing procedure, it includes the purchase requisition. Kumbaga, lahat ng departments ng mga organizations ay pinapagawa ng requisition for purchase. Decision of purchase naman is nakarefer sa mga decision-making stages na ginagawa ng consumer undergoes before, during, and after ng pag-purchase ng product. Sa study of market conditions naman is tend to affect all businesses in an industry, although their ability to take advantage or respond to changes in market conditions will vary. Selection vendors uh, ito naman yung selection the process that nagbibigay ng clear stating, defining, and improving those vendors na namimit ang mga requirements of the procurement process. Kasama na rin dito ang placing or purchasing order and receiving of orders. Mahalaga na alamin itong mga ito para mabigyan tayo ng idea at kung paano nila pinaghahandaan ang mga ito. For this module, we talk about the function of purchasing department. The purchasing department is the buyer for the goods and services for its company. They would buy supplies from any type of organizations such as private sector companies. Aside from that, they are purchasing materials considering the time and the financial status of the company. That is why they are looking for organizations that would sell affordable products but with high quality. And of course, we have the purchasing manager. They are the one that communicating with the executives, making plans, and overseeing the employees, and of course, the budget. We also have the purchasing officers and purchasing agents. They have different jobs to do that depends on the company. In Module 12, I have learned that the purchasing department's role in a business is to assist company operations as the primary buyer of goods. The procurement department serves its internal customer by procuring the goods and services they require in a timely manner while also ensuring the financial health of the company. They look for and buy products and services at the lowest possible price and value. As a result, the purchasing department must comprehend the complexities of the operation it supports, as well as the market that to supply the goods or services needed to meet its objectives. For the last module, I learned purchasing department are the center of successful supply chain management. Purchasing department, they help other departments identify their needs, manage the requisition process, and source competitive prices, and generally act as controllers to ensure budgets. Purchasing department is a customer in a company where who buys the company supplies. Its function, it has functions. First is sourcing, which they will value, value what source in the supply that they need. Second is value analysis, where they analyze the value of the supplies and, and the, however, they They increase the value added 
element in the purchasing process. Third is the collecting. It's where they recognize, recognize or on pricing volume length of the contact specification, supply reaction, and the mother and monitor the value of measurement of the product. And moreover, also the purchasing department com they communicate to the private sectors where they buy food but where they buy the supplies or product that they need. In the function of purchasing department, they aid in the financial health organizations. They buy items and services that will suit their operating demands while also giving the best value. They set procurement policies and procedures to ensure that their company performs ethically and responsibly in the marketplace. Module 12. In private sector corporations, government organizations, educational institutions, and any other sort of organization, the purchasing department, sometimes known as a procurement department or a purchase department, supports firm operations as the major buyer of goods and services. Internal customers are served by the procurement department, which procures the goods and services they require in a timely manner while simultaneously maintaining the company's financial health. They look for and buy products and services with the best price and value. As a result, the purchasing department must comprehend the complexities of the operation it supports as well as the markets that supplies the goods or services needed to achieve the organization's goals. A purchasing officer's task and responsibilities too far beyond obtaining office furniture, procurement employees must also be knowledgeable with complex network technology equipment, work with travel requirements, workspace purchase, and other topics. Ang purchasing department, also known as procurement department, serves ng mga internal customers by procuring the goods and services na kailangan nila sa tamang oras at habang minimaintain nila ang company's financial health. Pinupursue and purchase rin nila ang goods and services sa abot ng kanilang makakaya na presyo. Kinakailangan din ito ng mainam na communication sa mga department heads para mamaintindihan yung mga pangailangan ng company nila. Planning din para maging organized ang kanilang gagawin. Maraming process itong function na ito. Hindi rin kasi may iwasan ang mga orders na delayed o kaya na damage. This is Yamani and a proud hospitality management student. I am Sed Hagina and I am proud hospitality management student. This is Sigrid and a proud hospitality management student. This is Angela and a proud hospitality student. This is Marcel, proud hospitality management student. This is King Albert Epanim and a proud hospitality management student. I am John Shelley Prila, a proud hospitality student. This is Aaron, a proud hospitality management student. Hi, I am Zain and a proud hospitality management student. This is Tony Lipin a proud hospitality student. This is Prestine and a proud hospitality student. This is James and a proud hospitality management student. Thank you.